Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Now in today's video, I'm actually going to be showing you guys how you can do a neon outline effect in Filmora 9. If you don't know what I'm talking about, here's a preview of what we're going to be doing in this video. Now that you know what I'm talking about, let's get right into it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag in our song and then we're gonna drag in our clip and we're just gonna trim up our clip to wherever we need it or wherever we want it to start and whatnot. I think my clip's gonna start right about here. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the beat drop. I already have a little marker right here. If you don't know how to do a marker, you just hit M and it will show up. And now that since I've already had a marker, what we're gonna do is we're gonna find where the character just turns blue uh, after they shoot the shotgun or after they get the eliminations. So right about here is perfect and we're just going to add in another marker and we're just going to line that up. And that's about where you want it. Of course it's not perfect because it doesn't really, because Fillmore doesn't really let you just align it perfectly like that, although that would be something that I wish they would add. And essentially it should look like this if you uh, sync it right. I think we're gonna, I guess, move it over a little bit, sync it up more. I think this would be perfect. Yep, that's perfect. And at the exact frame of whenever the character turns blue as well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it off and we are actually going to start doing the effect. And what you wanna do is you wanna search up pixelated edges. I already have it searched up. You just have to type in pixel and you should find it. And we're gonna add it into this little clip right here. And what you can do to make this look better is add in slow-mo and essentially what you got to do is detach audio and then you just slow it down probably i don't know 0 0.5 is probably the best and now it looks like that it looks ugly of course now what we're going to do is we're just going to copy the part of the uh, clip that is now slow-mo and we're just going to copy it now what we're going to do is we're going to paste it which is Control v and we're going to put it on top of the bottom clip right here now what we're going to do for both of them is we're going to go up to compositing. We're going to go down all the way down to different. You're going to do that for both of them. Now that you've done that, it should look like this, but of course you don't see the outline. So what you got to do next is you go back to the bottom clip and you turn off pixelated edges. Now it should look like this. Now, if you just want to do one color, you can just change it to whatever you want. Usually red's probably my favorite color, so I'm just going to keep it like that. But what I like to do for this type of effect is I'm actually going to be doing a rainbow effect. And essentially what you got to do now is just cut it at certain frames. A couple frames doesn't really matter. Don't have to be on the exact marker or don't have to be exactly the same length for each one. Just cut it to wherever you want. Now you've done that, you just change the color for each one. So we're just going to do blue for that one green for this one, white for this one, uh, this weird color up there for that one. Oh no. Looks kind of like the same color. So we're just going to do pink. For this one, we're going to do, I don't know, uh, yellow maybe? Yellow? And for the next one, we're just going to do purple. Why not? And now that you've done that, what you're going to do is you're going to go to Transitions. You're going to find Dissolve, which is in the Basics tab, and you just scroll down and you can find it. And you essentially just put that on each and every frame. And in the end, it should look like this. Oh my and now what we're going to do now is just render it so we can look at what we did and make sure we like it. Now that we've done that, let's see what it looks like. Oh my and to make this better, let's just add in a swoosh, I guess. Why not? And that is pretty much how you do the neon outline effect in Filmora 9. With that being said, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.